Hi, you're watching a Kevic production tutorial, and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up remote desktop on your computer. First off, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what remote desktop is. Remote desktop is a protocol set up on your network, on your router, um, using a port 3389. Uh, what I mean by this is that you can access your computer and your computer's files from a different location, or from the same network on a different computer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this, but you got to make sure you have Windows XP or above. Um, if you have below that, then you should probably turn your computer off and uh, never turn it back on. Um, if you're a Mac or Linux user or some other operating system, I'm sorry, this doesn't pertain to you because it's Windows Remote Desktop. So, alright. Um, you want to make sure you have a static IP. If you don't know what a static IP is, or if you don't know how to set one up, I'm going to put a link in the video now. Um, go ahead and watch that and do that first. But um, after you did that, follow these steps. Gonna open up your internet browser. And you're gonna want to navigate to your router IP. Um, most of the time it's 192.168.1.1. It might be .2, it's up to your router, really. Um, you gotta find port forwarding somewhere in these settings. I know my Verizon router is under firewall settings. You have to know your login and password. For most people it's username, admin, password, password. It could be different. You want to contact Verizon if you don't know or maybe even look on your router. It might be there. But port forwarding is right here. Um, it's going to say could mess up performance and configuration. That's exactly what you're doing is you're changing some configuration. Alright, um, you're going to want to look for like an add, because this is the protocol list and I didn't have any, but uh, here's add. Now um, you, you can look down here and see if there's RDP, which is Remote Desktop Protocol for short. Uh, most don't have it already installed, like mine doesn't, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new one, but making sure it's on my static IP. I just selected my computer here. I don't know why it's showing my Mac address and not my computer name, but go ahead and look through these and be like, all right, that one. That's my IP. That's my static IP. And I'm going to create a new service called RDP. Uh, make sure it's port forwarding. Um, on the protocol, you want to have both. Global par start port 3389, global end port 3389, base port 3389. Anything that says port has to be 3389. That is the remote desktop port. Um, direction is in because you're connecting to the computer. You want to go ahead and hit apply. Now you would think that you're done, but you're not. Um, go ahead and exit your router settings. You're done. You're done here. You're done messing with that. Your protocol is set up on your router. However, Windows usually blocks remote connections. So go to start. This will work on 7 and Vista 2, my computer. Although it is a little bit of a different look here, you want to look for a remote tab and make sure allow users to connect to the remotely to this computer. And OK. Now, it's as simple as finding a remote desktop in your uh, start menu and loading it but I just go to run MS TSC I find that easier I don't know why but I do um, if you're connecting to your remote desktop computer from a different network you need to find out your your network IP which can be found at ipchicken.com um, that's a that's the best example I'm gonna give you if you're connecting to that computer from a different computer on the same network like in the same house you don't have to get that IP you just have to put your static IP in there but I'm connecting to my office computer so I'm gonna go ahead and put that network IP and I'm not gonna show you it um, I do want to explain though that there is an options tab here and you can display local drives from this computer so you can file transfer and stuff you want to look in those options and click what you want and set your preferences and I'm gonna go ahead and click connect because I don't care about my preferences at the moment. 
Alright, um, it's running Windows 7, so it's the Windows 7 logon, actually. Um, go, you have to have a password on the remote computer for it to work. I'm going to mention that now. You have to have a password. Um, here I am on, uh, on a different computer, on a different operating system. And now you know. This is how you set up a remote desktop. Go ahead and, and try it out. Have fun. Thank you for watching. If you will, please subscribe. More videos soon. Thanks.